request from many, many clients that have been asking us uh, about uh, Rafa Nadal's forehand. How does he do that forehand? You know, that the, the, the finish, the follow through of his forehand is very peculiar. And uh, I'm here to make it clear for you guys how it's done because there's a little confusion going on out there, it seems like. So, here's the story. You might, you might be thinking, I'm going to do it right-handed first here, and then I'll demonstrate it left-handed, but you might be thinking, as many do out there, that he follows through over the same shoulder that he's hitting with. And, yes, that's true sometimes when he gets pulled wide for a very wide ball. Most of all, if he gets caught hitting a little bit late. And actually, he's not just the only one to do that. Many pros, many good players, when they get pulled out wide and they're a little bit late, you might see this follow through here. When you're going for a top spin lob, when you're going for a side spin, coming and bending the ball around the doubles alley there to try to pass the guy at the net maybe. Or even if he's staying back, you know, if you get pulled out wide on a dead run, you might be doing this follow through here instead of this one or this one. Now, what Rafa does is this. He's got that western grip here going on. He's going to hit that heavy, heavy, heavy topspin. Sometimes when he catches them on the rise, you'll see him follow through here. I've seen him follow through here a couple of times too. You know, it's, 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 it's very rare, but it happens. But what he does the most is this follow through here that we see him. And this follow through is nothing more than continuation of this one. But instead of the racket dipping down behind the back, it swirls around over his head, going behind him and coming back here. So if you see on a front view here, I'm even gonna try to do it slow-mo for you guys. You got this swing going on here. Then he pulls the racket head up, biting the ball with a heavy spin. Elbow also kicks in. And then as the racket comes over the shoulder, instead of stopping, and just dipping behind here on the backpack, it just keeps going around the head. Almost as if he was like a cowboy doing the, the, the lay, you know, using the rope there and, and swirling that, you know, lace around his head. You can even try it out and see that that's what's really going on here. In full speed, it looks like this. You go here and you go there, yeah! And it goes over the side and comes over around this way. Left-handers, like Rafa is, we go here, and then here, and then it goes this way. This way. So it's not this on the same shoulder. He does come around over the top of the opposite shoulder, but that doesn't stop there. It just keeps going around, lifts the elbow here, and clears his head with the arm and the racket turn goes around his head. Let's see again. Yeah. And here for right-handers. Yeah. Let me demonstrate with the ball. Here you go, open stance. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it's done. Go over the opposite shoulder and then go around the head. And you got so much speed going on in the racket that they can't even stop it. It just keeps on going. All right, guys. I'm going to go out there and try it. Power to you. Add another gear to your game. A very vicious topspin. The king of clay does it very well and constantly hurts people with it. Cheers. It's a wrap. Coach Morrow, I'll see you next time. Take care.